Hello, I'm Diane Alston, Utah State University Extension Entomologist. And this video fact sheet, we're going to talk about some of the homemade insect traps that you can make that help reduce pest problems around your home. Right now it's June 10th, 2011. It's still fairly early in the summer. Um, so the grapes are just now leafing out. But some of these traps we're going to talk about are for insects that will become problems later this summer. So the first insect uh, trap that we can make is for the European paper wasp. The European paper wasp is an invasive insect that's been in Utah for about 10 years now. Um, as the name suggests, it was introduced from Europe into the eastern part of the United States and, and slowly made its way across the country and arrived here in Utah again about 10 years ago. Um, it is different than some of the other paper wasps. The, another common uh, paper wasp pests that we have trouble with is the yellow jacket. The yellow jacket nests in the ground and uh, delivers a very, um, a, a very intense sting that can, uh, and some people are allergic to that and it can be uh, very problematic. The European paper wasp also stings and so that's one of the problems with it is it's a nuisance. Its sting doesn't tend to be as severe as the yellow jacket but nonetheless uh, no one is uh, excited about having a stinging insect flying around. The other main problem with the European paper wasp is that it likes to feed on um, ripe and overripe fruit. And so when grapes are growing on this vineyard here, or um, peaches and, and apricots in the orchard next door, the wasp come and land on that fruit just as it's getting ripe and, and chew a hole in it. And so you lose some of your fruit harvest. Um, yet another problem that, they ha that we have with them is that they will build their nests in places um, where we live. So they'll build their nests under the eaves of a home, under a raised deck, um, in the ceiling of a, an outbuilding such as a shed, um, perhaps in the uh, ventilation ducts of, a, of your motor home, places like that. And so they can, uh, their, their nests can be a nuisance in themselves and then just the abundance of the wasps flying around during the summer um, and their potential to sting you is uh, a concern. This will be the funnel that will sit in the top of the trap. So the European paper wasp trap, what you want to use is a fruit juice solution, but you wanted a very low concentration of fruit juice. So it's just one part fruit juice to 10 parts water. And the reason for that is that you want the fruit to start for, the fruit juice to start fermenting. You can use orange, grape, cherry, apple, pretty much any kind of fruit juice is just fine. So I'm going to use one quarter cup fruit juice to two or two and a quarter cups water. And then I'm going to add in a quarter teaspoon of yeast. So this is just uh, active dry yeast that you use for making bread or pizza dough. And then a quarter teaspoon of just liquid dish detergent. So the purpose of the dish soap is to break the surface tension so that when the wasps land in the fruit juice they fall into the, the liquid solution. So just mix this up. And then you're going to take the top that you cut off and invert it down like a funnel. And then you we need to have two holes on the side to hang this trap up. So you can use something like a knife or something sharp to poke holes, or I use a soldering gun that just puts a hole right through the plastic, really. And so I just have a piece of, um, of a wire, kind of like a giant twist tie. Insert it through the holes on the end, make a little ball on the end so it doesn't pull through. Do the same on each side. Okay, now you have a wasp trap. It's a little, this one actually is a little bit full, so I'm going to pour a little bit out. So you don't want the liquid, you want it to be just a little bit below the funnel so that when the wasps fly in and they land on the liquid, on the fruit juice solution, they then fall into the, um, to the bait and aren't able to crawl back out the funnel. So when this is hanging up outside, the wasp um, detect the odor of the fermenting fruit juice. They're attracted to it. They fly, they land in here, and then they'll crawl down to touch, to get into where the fruit juice is. And then once they 
uh, land on the surface of that liquid they, with the uh, soap that has broken the surface tension, they fall through and so your trap will fill up with European paper wasps. Okay, the European paper wasp um, is uh, again attracted to fermenting uh, fruit juice and so the trap we made is an ideal kind of trap for it. The commercial traps that you buy in the store are for the yellow jacket. Yellow jacket is a, primarily a carnivorous insect that's attracted to meat and of course other insects that it has its primary diet. And so the bait that's inside those commercial traps simulates um, a food source for the yellow jacket or a pheromone that it uses for communication. And so yellow jackets um, are not attracted to this kind of trap and European paper wasps likewise are attracted to fermenting fruit and not attracted to the yellow jacket trap. And so this is the only kind of, of trap that's been successful for um, catching the European paper wasp. So in an outdoor um, situation where you have a vineyard or an orchard, a blackberry uh, crop where you're trying to protect them from the European paper wasp, you need to uh, hang, make quite a few traps and hang them around the perimeter of the orchard and vineyard. You need to place one trap about every 50 feet of vineyard or orchard or black, blackberry uh, vine area. And so um, you'll need to make a number of these and hang them out during the time when the fruit is getting close to being ripe. And this, the, at this time the trap will function as an attractant and draw the European paper wasps into the traps rather than feeding on your fruit. The European paper wasp has a good side to it as well. It is a predator of uh, caterpillars and other small soft-bodied insects around the home landscape and garden. One of their favorite uh, foods is the leaf miner larvae that can be found in common leafy greens such as spinach and lettuce, Swiss chard and, and beets. The paper wasp will land on these leaves and chew out um, the area where the caterpillar is right underneath this little layer. So for an overall good European paper wasp uh, management program, it's good to combine the trapping with some of the other techniques we've talked about, such as frequently changing your hummingbird water, um, limiting their access to open water sources, and another important tool is nest removal. So in the early summer, when the adults are building new nests to lay their eggs and, uh, and rear their larvae, this is a time when you can remove nests to help reduce the, the buildup of the population. Uh, the best time to remove nests is when it's cool, so at night or in the early morning, and uh, to often use a uh, contact insecticide, such as a wasp uh, killer product, to spray the nest first to uh, reduce the likelihood that you will uh, be stung in the process and then to remove the nests um, all the way up to the very surface of where they're attached. So you try to not leave any of the residue of the nest behind because um, areas where there are lots of nests um, already built, this is an uh, attraction for other wasps uh, to fly in and build their nests there as well.